It's important to be familiar with your own exam board, but in fact, the differences on practical skills between the three major exam boards are not as many as you might think. There are a couple of particular skills that AQA requires that the other two don't. Students need to be able to read a Vernier scale and to estimate the uncertainty of an accepted value. There are a few particular practicals that are covered on one exam board and not others. For example, Edexcel is the only exam board to have this practical, finding the speed of sound using a microphone and an oscilloscope. Chapter eight of the study companion has details on all the required practicals and this list telling you how they match up with the required practicals for each exam board. And of course, there are lots of really good videos now um, that teachers have done demonstrating required practicals on YouTube. There are just a couple of differences on terminology and notation. The three exam boards differ on how they write an absolute uncertainty and what AQA calls fundamental units, OCR and Edexcel call base units. But if there's a really significant difference between the three, it's in their general approach to errors, uncertainties and hypothesis testing. AQA, in response to feedback from teachers, has a very prescriptive approach Students are expected to test a hypothesis in a particular way and won't get the marks if they don't do it that way. At the other end of the scale, Edexcel takes a very relaxed approach. Their mark schemes say things like any sensible test of the hypothesis and OCR is somewhere in between. Make sure that you look at plenty of past papers and mark schemes so you can get a feel for what your exam board requires. If you're finding these videos useful, please subscribe and don't forget to check out our resources on the website and follow Learning Dojo on Twitter.